Bubble soccer is a new activity that has become a global phenomenon for crazy fun and fitness. But keep in mind, this game requires some serious survival skills. I'm gonna lay out a bubble soccer survival guide so that you can get the most out of this amazing activity. I spoke with Chris Calbero, owner of Seattle Bubble Soccer, and the first survival tip I learned? Forget how your body moves, it will be taken out of its element. You're used to regular soccer, you're used to like your, your stride of going 100%, arms swinging, knees to the chest. In this case, everything is cut down to 50%. Which means running around, chasing a soccer ball while you're in a 25 pound plastic bubble really restricts leg and arm movement. 25 pounds is a lot of weight to be carrying, especially with the amount of running that you're gonna be doing. Survival tip number two, pace yourself. Man, this sucks to run. You're trying to chase somebody who's probably maybe even faster than you, if you can get to them. Bottom line, take it slow. Don't go full speed all the time. Conserve energy by going full speed in short spurts. Your whole concept of angles, distance, and speed will be thrown into chaos, and it's up to you to figure it out, and fast. You're trotting along the way in that bubble suit. Our third survival tip, smash or be smashed. You're in a huge plastic bubble and no one's going to get hurt. So go get them. You either smash or get smashed. <laughs> in, in the reality of things, they're safe in that bubble, so to speak. And finally, what goes down must come up. And getting up after being knocked down is not as easy as you think. But I'll tell you what, you have to try this sport at least once in your lifetime or you're totally missing out. <laughs> just bouncing around in a big plastic bubble on the fit list.